Welcome back, my lovelies. Today is going to be a fun video to film for sure because my lips are going to not be happy whatsoever. But let's start off with look at these gorgeous nails. Look at this. Let me turn this. Look at those. The gradient color to where it's just on the tips and how gorgeous it is. And look at that. Like, and they girls and guys, they are long, okay? But I am having it. I am here for it. I am loving it. I feel like a bad bee with these. A bad bish, as one of my favorite YouTubers would call it. So if you see me with a whole lot of, you know, that's okay. Because these nails make me do it. So if you would like to see what's going to happen in today's video, which is, let's see, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 16, 32, 48, 49, 50, 52. Wow, that's a lot. 52 different lippies. I got the Big Lip Vault, which I got a little while back. And these four extra ones that I got in one of the newer launches a little while back. Swatched on my lip. Hello. Swatched on my lips to see what they all look like. And the reason for this video is because I just ordered their two brand new lip liner vaults. There's two of them, a reds and a nudes. They each have 10 lip liners in them. So I got 20 all together because right now they have a sale, a BOGO sale for National Lip Day, I think it is. I don't know if it's a day, a week or what, but they had this sale going on. Buy one lip, get one free on the vaults, the sets, or the singles. So I bought the brand new reds and the brand new nudes sets, which had 10 in each. And I got one for free. So I got both of them, I think, for around like $22, you know, plus shipping and tax. But anyways, so I got that. And since that's on its way, I want to swatch all my lippies so I can go back and reference what the lip liner color would look like with the lippies because we're going to do that with lip liners also. We can do a whole swatch party with them. So if you'd like to see me do that, please consider subscribing below. Ring that bell. Leave me a like if you enjoy my content. And please comment down below. Once this is over, keep track and let me know your top three or just your favorite lippy color now i will say again a lot more new subscribers you guys i'm not gonna get teary-eyed we are 10 10 subscriber family members away from 500 500 zero, zero. like i cannot believe it like that is a huge milestone for me my channel and you since we are all family but with all that said Let's get into this video because I'm excited, but I don't think my lips are. Now, I will say I have this, and I have my Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Foundation that I'm going to keep patting over after each one to try and keep it from getting red, which is why I don't have any foundation or anything on so it doesn't get messed up every time I wipe these off because I'm going to be doing it 50, did I say 52? 50 to 52 times wiping and reapplying, so my lips are going to hate me. But with all that ranting aside, I apologize for this four minute intro. Let's get into these lippies. I'm gonna try and do them from the nudes to the colors, lightest to darkest, but we'll see how that goes. Because they did fall out, so they're not exactly in order, but they're pretty close. Plus, I have these four. But now, let's get into the lippies. Okay, let's get into this. I'm gonna save these four as you can see, the packaging is different till the end. And I already pulled one out. I think this is the lightest nude. So this is 2011 Dream Date, which is a cream. They look like this. Let me show you one time how much product you get because I haven't used any of these. Excuse you, plain. That's a pretty good amount. They just twist up and down. Now, I will swatch each one on my hand first. There we go. So, it looks like that. A beautiful nude. I'm going to try and do this with my air off, you guys. We'll see how far we get. So, let's go. This is a cream. To make this quicker, I am not going to show the entire application. Just start and then the end. But this smells like, to me, it smells like vanilla and root beer. 
I'll do the very first one. I'll let you see the full application. Now, the way I like to use these for like a liner is I turn to that rounded pointy part and I go around. Okay. This is Dream Date. Beautiful. I'm going to try not to spend too long showing off each one because we have a lot. Now, until they start getting really red, I'm just going to pat the moisture from wiping them off onto here. But once they start getting redder, then I will pop in the foundation. Our next one is 2001, which is cookie, and it is a matte. It looks like this. It looks very similar, but that it seems deeper to me. Okay, this is that one right there. This is cookie. And this one's a matte. I can already feel it drying down. Okay, our next one is 2013, which is at twilight, and it is a cream. Like I said, they're not perfectly in order because when I got them, I did take them all out. That's more of like a pinky caramel. Let's put it on. I like this color. Okay, this is at twilight. This color is beautiful. But I will tell you guys something. Don't get the taste in your mouth because they might smell good. This one doesn't. That's weird. I wonder if some smell and some don't. Anyways, they don't taste good. They taste disgusting. But again, that is at twilight. And the reason I'm trying not to put foundation on until I have to is because I have my lips bare like this when I apply them. So I want you guys to see that's what they look like. Now we have 20H1, which is with the band. This one is a matte X, the new formula I was telling you about. This one is very pretty as well. Oh yeah, this is more of a pinky nude. You guys, wow, the difference between the matte and the matte X, the matte X feels so lightweight and creamy. Wow, this is with the band. That one right there. That is beautiful. That's probably my favorite color so far. On to the next. Now we have 20H1 Parker, which is a regular matte. Looks like this. See how creamy that one was? One swipe almost, it just went on. This regular matte is way stiffer and not near as creamy. Okay, so this is Parker. I said screw the mirror. Oh yeah, these are so not near as creamy. They actually tug, but the Matte X is so creamy. Okay, this is Parker. Kind of like my lips, but better color. Beautiful. We have three left for the first row. Yes, okay. So this one is 2014 Slacker, which is a cream. Now, I do like the cream formula. It feels so nice and smooth and my, it don't tug at all. This color is slacker. I should leave the lips off. I love this. Two to go. Now we have O Snap, which is a regular matte number 2014. I don't know what the numbers are all about. I did not hand swatch the other one. I need to do that because I'm going to reference for my favorite color when I go back to them. Now back to this one again. This is Oh Snap. 
Oh, I'm gonna like this color. Oh yes, that's a cream, right? No, that's a matte. And is it a regular matte? Yeah, it's a regular matte. But that one wants so smooth. Whoa, look. That's how creamy this one is. Some are really dry, some aren't. This is Oh Snap. Beautiful. Now we have one left. Oh no, our lid did not come out. We got it. Oh, it was attacking me. Let me take this off first, so that's time to dry. Probably gonna end up with lipstick on my teeth, on my face. <laughs> Anyways, this one is called Topanga. It is a satin, our first satin. This is 20G2 or 20G2, I'm not sure which. Ooh, that is like, more of like a peachy terracotta. But I can tell I need to press real soft. Oh, that's pretty. This is Topanga. This color is beautiful. I like this a lot. Okay. That was the entire first row right here. Now we're into the more pinkier ones. Like pinky nudes, mauves type colors. So our first one is 2012 which is Byron Base, or I'm sorry, Byron Babe. Ooh, another Matte X. I like the Matte X that we had before. Oh. Yeah, these are so much creamier than a regular matte. Ooh, this color. Oh my God, this is my favorite right here so far. This one. What do you guys think of this color on me? Hold on, I gotta fix it. Couldn't stand them not being even. Anyways, this is Byron Babe. What do you think of it on me? Is it a good color for me? In the comments below, let me know which color was your favorite on me. The next one we have is a matte and it's called Lumiere number 2014. I kept this on for a minute. It ain't been on for like 60 seconds, so it's probably not completely ready, but I don't feel like this is the Matte X. I feel like nothing is on my lips, you guys. I know it's a weird face. They don't feel tight when I stretch my lips or any of that stuff. Wow. Just wow. So again, our next color is Lumiere, which is a regular matte, number 2014. See, some of the mattes are way creamier than other ones. And this looks beautiful. I love the mauve Tone pinks. This is Lumiere. Adore this color. Beautiful. Our next one is Cami 20H5, and it is a matte X. I'm very excited. I love the matte X's now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you see how easy that went on? Wow. This is Cami. I knew I'd have it on my face eventually. This color is gorgeous. That one right there. And they look true to color from what they are in their applicator. Our next one is Brink. It's a regular matte. It's 2OH3. Yes. See the difference? This looks like a pretty color, though. Okay, this is Brink. Another gorgeous color. Beautiful. I will say they're very easy to keep a clean edge without a lip liner, which is one of the reasons I bought 
their whole vault of lippies because they're so easy to use and put on. Our next one is Gold Digger. Not Gold Digger, Gold. G-O-A-L, Digger. 2-O-H-2, and it is another matte X, thank God. Looks like another pretty color. Like, look at that. It's so easy. This is Gold Digger. Beautiful color. Wow. And I'm keeping them in order here so that I know what name goes to what color. Now our next row, look how red I'm getting. Which is like hot pinks and corals. I will use the foundation over my lips. This one is called Little Things. It is a cream. It is 2-O-F-2. The creams go on so smooth. Now, if they start going out of lines, I'm sorry, my lips are starting to, we're almost done with the second row, so they're starting to get a little inflamed. But this one is Little Things. Definitely more of a light pink color, with a little bit of nude in it. This one is called Aftershock. Ooh, it's a matte X, and it is 2014. Those matte X's, do you see how easy they go on? Okay, this is Aftershock. Beautiful color. It's a pinkier nude, but more on the pinky mauve side. And we have one left in this row. Last one in the second row is called Happy Thoughts. It's a regular matte and it's 2-0-G-1. How red my face is getting. That's beautiful as well. Oh, but it definitely pulls. This is Happy Thoughts. This is a beautiful pinky nude. There's a good amount of pinky nudes, mauvey pinks, mauvey nudes, and I love it. Because I love mauvey nudes, pinky nudes, pinky mauves. Love them all. Now we're going to head to third row. So I'm going to throw some of this hyaluronic found acid foundation on my lips. And we'll get into it. Because I can tell that my lips are starting to get so red. It's hard to see the color. And I don't want that. Shake it up. Put a tiny little drop on the edge. There we go. wipe them lips out okay as you can see our third row is these like more hotter pinks and corals so i'm gonna try and start with the ones that are lighter and work my way up first one we have is westy it is a regular matte it is 2 o b2 that was like a creamier matte So this is Westy, like a Barbie pink. Look at my regular lip though. I would definitely use this to ombre or put in the center. I would never wear this alone. But still very pretty color. The next color, before we get into the bright, bright ones, I would say would be Goodie Bag. It's a regular matte and it's 2014. Ooh, definitely darker. Okay, this is goodie bag. I would definitely wear this one over the other one, but still wouldn't wear this one alone. It's too bright of a pink for me. And I'm making sure I'm putting the littlest amount of foundation so it's not completely blanking out my lips. 
Next we have Runaway, which is a matte X. I'm happy about that. It's number 2013. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this color. What is this again? This is Runaway. I don't wear pinks, but this is gorgeous. And again, it's a matte X, so it feels like I have nothing on. Honestly, I swear to you, I would not lie. It does not. Not sticky. I love it. And that is Runaway. Yes, Runaway. So, our next one would be Songbird. It's a regular matte, and it's number 2013. I would show you, but you see the swatch and then my lips. There's no point in showing you carton or the container I should say that looks beautiful as well oh yeah okay that is songbird which is also gorgeous and I don't wear pinks but whoops these look beautiful to me what do you guys think of this color on me gorgeous now we're getting in to the last four of this row, which are bright, like bright, okay? So I guess we'll start with this one, which looks like the lightest of the brightest. I'll show you all four real quick. Here's the last four of this row. They might not look that bright to you guys, but trust me, they are. So, go with this one, which is... Cherry Bomb. It's a regular matte. It's number 2011. Which looks like it's going to be gorgeous. Oh, yes. Oh, I hate the regular mattes. This is Cherry Bomb. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I'm loving trying these on because I'm finding things I would never have, like, looked at that and picked it out. Like, oh, I'm going to wear this ever. I'd be like, oh, no. I think it looks so good. Okay. The next one I just grabbed is called Are You Surreal? It's a regular matte. It's number 2013. Oh, couldn't get the lid off. That looks beautiful. Are You Surreal? Oh, that's gorgeous. Definitely a hotter pink, though. Are you surreal? I'm surreal that uh, I like this color. I like it, not saying I would wear it, because I don't think I would. Maybe, maybe. We have two left in this row. Ooh, that one's darker, so we'll use that for last. This is... Casanova. It is a cream. It is 2014. Oh, let me do this first. That's beautiful. Because I'm trying to do this with my air off, but these things are literally feel like they're melting. I think that's why that one crumbled. Okay, this is Casanova. Very pretty. One more for this row, and then we have three rows left. I was about to say two, but we have three. Now, this one looks like a purple. Heart on. Oh, hard on. Instead of hard, it's heart on. This is a matte, and this is 20H5. Yeah, it definitely has a purple feel. Doesn't look like the container, and I'm disappointed. Look. Container looked purple. It's a pretty color. But this is hard on. I wish it had been more purple like this. Beautiful. Okay, so that's two rows down, three to go, lovelies. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please let me know below if you are, or if you're not. Because if you're not, I won't do any more like this. But if you are, I have other ideas that I want to swatch everything 
Okay, now we're into this row. More reds and oranges. And I'm gonna go for lightest to darkest. I mean, I'm gonna try and keep the super dark at the end, but I'm just grabbing out. First, we have I Heart This, which is a matte 2012. Ooh, that matte feels creamy. Maybe it's from the heat. Melting them. This is I Heart This. That is actually really pretty. It's surprising the ones that I'll look at to tell you guys the name. And I'm like, I'm going to hate this. And then I put it on. I'm like, that's beautiful. Look at this. Lipstick all the way over there. I'm going to have it everywhere by the end. Okay. Next we have Jam Sesh, which is another matte, 2014. Ooh, this is a way deeper red. I don't know if these mattes are melting or what, but this row, they do not tug like the others. Ooh, my gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. This is Jam Sesh. I am loving this color. Wow, just wow. When I go back to edit this, I'm going to note down all the ones I love the most and get them out of here and put them in my lipstick holder so I wear them. Now that I'm doing reds and orange, I definitely got to use the foundation. This one is Skywalking. Ooh, it's a matte X and it's 2003. Beautiful. There's a plane outside. This is Skywalking. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? Mm, can't believe it. I used to hate reds. I used to hate reds and now I'm here for them. It's so weird. Wish I could go. And my lips will be cleaned and powdered. I should have tried that maybe just putting powder on them. I wonder if that would work. Because I, I want them like this, where they're cleaned off, no staining, but they look like my lips. Now we have Trust Me, which is a matte X, which is 20H4. I'm wondering if you guys can find them by that number, if you like them. See, look at that first swatch. <laughs> this is Trust Me. Oh, I do trust you. Look at those cute lips. This is more of like an orangey red. So pretty. Oh, I forgot to swatch it on my arms, guys. Like, look. That matte X, I can literally just do one swipe. Our next one is Love Life. A matte X. It's 20H1. This looks like more of a brownie brick red to me. I tried to wait out that helicopter plane helicopter out there you guys but it ain't going away okay this is love life see how it's like that bricky red that brownie red it's like the brown undertone kind of love it okay our next one is parachute which is a matte x this is like a bright orange or bright orange with the little bit of red in it look at that wow oh that is orange okay this is parachute for an orange i, I kind of like it on me what do you guys think please be honest 100 percent honest if it looks dumb tell me don't let your girl walk around looking dumb please tell me i think it looks good we have two left in the orangey row. And then we can go into like the deeper like brown and slash berries and then the deeper browns. So after this, we have 16 left. Get it looking a little better. Okay, I wiped some off because I don't want it to be super blinked out. Our last one is Day Trip. It is a matte and it's 2-0-B-2. Definitely a more orangey red right here. Oh no, I'm a liar. 
There was one before that when I missed it. This is Chi Chi, which is a matte 2011. I realized because the number of swatches didn't match up. Another reason that I do them. Ooh, another orange. I don't know. This was like a darker orange to me. The other one was more bright. This is Chi Chi. It's going to be beautiful in fall, Halloween time. Put like one of these browns I'm going to show you or the berry colors with this in the middle. We're going to try that. Beautiful. I hope I remember. Okay, now the last one is Day Trip. Just this one. Another orange, but not as bright. It's kind of darker, but with like some red in it, I think. This is Day Trip. Yeah. This one's kind of like more of a pinky orange. Oh, I love it. In real life, this one looks more pink. I'm, I'm so sad it looks bright orange because it's not. It's pink. It is pink. That's crazy. It's the first one that did not match up. And I'm glad it's the first one. And they weren't all that way. Because the other two were brighter and darker orange. That's why I have my mirror next to me so I could tell you guys when I look. Okay. Now we're into this more berry toned brown row right here. And it goes from lightest to darkest because I never took it out. Took any out. This is Who Run This, which is a Matte X 2014. This is Who Run This. And I feel like I run this with this lip on. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's late. And I've been putting lipsticks on for over an hour straight now. But this is beautiful okay our next one is ziggy which is a matte x it is 2014 told you these were all browns but with like a berry hint to them and those they both look the same in real life i'll tell you if it doesn't instead of saying that they do from each one oh so pretty this is gorgeous And I usually don't wear browns, but this is beautiful. This is Ziggy. Wow, just wow. Our next one is Fly Fi, like sci-fi, but Fly Fi. This is another Matt X, yay, and it's 2014. Oh my gosh. This is Fly Fi. It's like a gorgeous brown with like a red hint to it. And it is beautiful. Our next one is Goldie, which is another matte X. And it's 20H4. Oh, that's pretty. And these are so easy to stay in the lines with. Oh my gosh. This is Goldie. Wow. Wow. Our next one is Poison, which is a regular matte, 2012. These are all really dark. Oh, the poles. I hate it. This is Poison. I am loving all of these. There's honestly only a few colors that I wouldn't wear. Our next one, and we have two left after this one, is Bichetti. Instead of Machete, it's got a B, like Bichetti. 
It's number 2011 and it is a matte. Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Tell you what, berry, deep, deep, the deeper the better berry tones used to be all I wore back in my day. This is Bichette or Bichette, I'm not sure which. B I C H E T T E. So pretty. Okay, we have two left, which are these two. Try and find which one's darker, I think this one. And honestly, if you've never tried their Matte X formula for their lippies, please try it. You will not be disappointed. Now we're doing Infinite Best, which is a Matte X speaking of. It's 2012, look how deep that color is. Mad X, one swipe. Oh, wow. This is infinite, infinite best. It's like a deep, deep, deep brown with a berry undertone, if that makes sense. Beautiful. And we have one left in this row, and then we have eight more and we are done oh no 12 more sorry because we got those four extras so our last one is elari e-l-l-a-r-i-e elari it's a matte 2014 it's our last one in this row there we go Ooh, it looks like a deep plum or you know I'm gonna like it. Yeah, I could tell it's a regular map. This is a Lari, and I love this color. This is the kind of deep berries I used to wear. Beautiful. That was a Lari. Now we're on to the last row, which is like the first nude row, but deeper. I could tell this was the lightest. This is Aquarius. It's a cream and it's 2OH1. I'm an Aquarius. Definitely too light for me. But would be used in the middle of another color. Our next color is Grunge, which is a matte 2012. I hate the regular map. This is Grunge, and I can see why it's called that. It's the color I would use if I was doing an old-fashioned Grunge look, for sure. Our next one is Taurus. Oh, are these going to be all signs? Oh, I'm sorry. Is a matte and it's 2-0-G-3. See, this matte does not feel stiff and pulley like the others. This is Taurus. This to me feels like it has like a green undertone, like an olive. That is Taurus. Our next one is Girl Gang. It's a matte 2 h 4 Very pretty. Oh, damn it. This is Girl Gang. Mm. Oh. I definitely wouldn't wear this alone. Maybe it's like a lip liner. In this row, that is. So now we have Candy Paint, which is a Matte X 2 b 4 Now 
this coat looks like it would be something I would wear alone. Their Matte X formula is just something that I am in love with. This is candy, yes, candy paint. Gorgeous, like caramely brown color. My lips hate me. This one is Capiche, which is a Matte X 20H4. Ooh, this color is beautiful. I can see some pink in it. This is Capiche. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Let me know down below which color was your favorite on me. Now we have Daydream, which is a matte X 20G3. This is Daydream. I think I'd wear this alone. Maybe on the outside of an ombre lip. But it's still pretty. Now, this is the last one for this row. And then we have the four singles. And we're all done, lovelies. Okay, the last one for this row is 1000%. It is a matte X and it's 2012. And it was the deepest, darkest one for this row. Looks like chocolate to me. That is a thousand percent. I would have named it chocolate. That was beautiful. Very deep brown, but beautiful. That was all the ones in the vault. Now we just have to do the four that I got. I don't remember which collection this was. So let's get to doing them. Okay, the first one is Nice Thing. I was making sure I didn't have it in my vault, but I have Little Things, which is this one, and this is Nice Things. Here we go. Um, The special four will go back here. It doesn't say what it is, just says Nice Things. It's a cream. I could be wrong, but to me, it feels like a cream. This is nice things. So pretty. Like this color is gorgeous. I didn't think it would be because look, but it is. Our next one is sweet stuff, right? Yes, sweet stuff. It's like a purpley color. But we learned before, purple is not purple to them. That is also beautiful. That is sweet stuff. Sorry if I got lipstick anywhere. Now we have two nude colors. We have Fab, and remember, they don't say what formula they are. This is Fab. I would definitely not wear this alone. It pulls that greeny olive undertone on me. Not alone, but a pretty color. We have one left. This is our last one. If you are still here, comment down below the lipstick um, emoji. Because I am going to start picking people throughout the month, each month, that have stayed so far in my video, I'll say to comment something. Don't say anything, just comment that picture. I mean, you could say stuff with it, but don't be like, I stayed this long, enter me lipstick picture. Not saying when I'm gonna pick them, but I will start picking people eventually that have actually set through my videos and not just skipped all the way through 
to get to the giveaway at the end or started it five minutes in and quit, you know, I'm going to start picking people. The last one is soft side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these all to me feel like either a cream or a matte X. See how it shows my lip? I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. And this one also pulls green on me, which I don't like. Okay, my poor lips need some lip balm. Oh, that feels so good. Much better. Now, we're gonna go real quick, name each one. You could pick your favorite color, post it in the comments below, and I'm gonna let you guys out of here. So starting, we're doing this row here. Starting right here. We have Dream Date, Cookie, At Twilight, Parker, With the Band, Slacker, Oh Snap, and Topanga. That's the end of it. Now, this is the next row, starting here. We have Byron Babe, Luminaire, Cammy, Brink, Gold Digger, Little Things, Aftershock, and Happy Thoughts. On to this row, starting here. We have Westy, Goodie Bag, Runaway, Songbird, Cherry Bomb, See You Surreal, or I'm sorry, Are You Surreal, Casanova, and Heart On. Now this row, starting here, I Heart This, I Love This, I guess, Jam Sesh, Skywalking, Trust Me, Love Life, Parachute, Chi Chi, and Day Trip. Now this row starting here, who run this? Ziggy, Fly Fly, Goldie, Poison, Bichetti, or Bichette, Infinite Best, and Elari. Now this row starting here, Aquarius, Grunge, Taurus, Girl Gaming, I'm sorry, Girl Gang, Candy Paint, Capiche, Daydream, and Thousand Percent. Now the last four starting here. We have Nice Things, Sweet Stuff, Fab, and Soft Side, ending there. So what was your favorite color out of all of the groups, including these four, even though they didn't go in the vault? Or what was your favorite color on me? Do you own any of these or is there any you might pick up now that you've seen this video? This has been a long one. I do hope you enjoyed it because it was not easy and my lips are on fire. Poor babies. But anyways, you guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please consider subscribing below. Ring the bell. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this content. And please comment below. Say hi. Tell me what you thought of the video, what color was your favorite, what was your favorite on me, and etc., etc., etc. And with that, I will leave you lovelies to it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Really quick, I already know I said goodbye, but I have the Big Vault cup of lip liners. Let me show you, but they're, they're not all in here. I took some out to get the lid back on. Plus, I have a bunch of extra ones. Some that were in this cup. Sorry if my camera's shaking. I'm trying to get the lid on. And some that I've acquired, you know, through collections and different things. If you like this video and would like to see me swatch all of the lip liners. And I would fill, you know, outline and then fill them in so you could see the full color. Just like I did with this video. Please leave it in the comment below. And I will do that if enough people want to see it. Okay, now, bye. Bye.